फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट दो द डिफेंस हैड क्रॉस एग्जामिंड पी डब्ल्यू एट ऑन सर्टेन पॉइंट बट हैड फेल्ड टू डिरेंज दीज फाइंडिंग्स द ट्रायल कोर्ट ऑब्जर्व एंड हेल्ड एज अंडर द डिफेंस क्रॉस एग्जामिंड दिस डॉक्टर ऑन सम पॉइंट बट इट हैज फेल्ड टू डिसरप एनी फाइंडिंग ऑफ द डॉक्टर ऑन द मैटर दैट द डिसीज डाइड ड्यू टू एसफिक्सिया एज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ थ्रोटलिंग I have drawn a serious attention to this piece of evidence and am not inclined to take a contrary view as regards the cause of death of the deceased. It was done by throttling. Now the question is who the author of this crime? To seek answer of this query we have to revert back to the evidence on record. coming to the question as to who was the author of this crime the trial court while dealing with the testimony of pw1 noticed that though he alleged in the fir that the appellant committed the murder of his granddaughter but took a somersault while deposing in the court and stated that being mentally unstable he acted to the dictates of others and affixed his signature on this piece of paper the trial court also observed that this witness attempted to give a different direction to the prosecution story by taking the stand about illness and hospitalization of the victim before her death the trial court deduced that this witness was apparently won over particularly when his narrative was running counter to the evidence of the doctor conducting post mortem examination who had categorically stated that the victim died due to throttling the trial court also noticed that the other private witnesses had deposed more or less on the same lines maybe in slightly different directions and found no reason to accept their suggestion about demise of the victim in hospital due to illness for obvious inconsistency with the initial version in the fir as also for want of clarification of basic questions as to who if at all brought the victim to hospital and when thereafter the trial court analyzed the testimony of pw7 anover hussain the investigating officer who asserted that on 22nd october 2010 the fir and dead body were received at the police station simultaneously that he carried out inquest prepared the inquest report exhibit 2 and dispatched the body for post mortem examination and that subsequently he visited the site of incident examined material witnesses and drew up sketch map of the site exhibit 3 the trial court also rejected the objection of defense against acceptance of the site plan exhibit 3 in evidence while observing that the defense had failed to satisfy as to why the said material piece of evidence be not brought on record the trial court further noticed from the testimony of pw7 that when he visited the place of occurrence he did not find the appellant and upon receiving the information that the appellant was roaming at nidanpur he reached there and took the appellant into custody the trial court also took note of the fact 
that in his statement under section 313 crpc the appellant took the plea that he was ill at that time stop